Hello guys and welcome to Megabyte. I'm Freddy and we're gonna take a look at the Ryzen 7 and it's an 1800X version of that CPU. So um, we're gonna try to overclock it a bit and see how good it goes. So we're here checking out the Ryzen 7 1800X and we're gonna try to see how much we can get out of it. Stock speed is 3.6 gigahertz. We're running the Cooler Master uh, LM240L RGB, but RGB doesn't matter. But we got the all-in-one water cooling. So we want to press out a little bit more from that CPU seeing that we paid for it and we want to get as much as possible out of it and Just by looking at it now we're running on the average temperature on 36 35 When we're doing basically nothing we've started the 3d mark before we overclock and we're gonna run times by extreme 4k resolution window mode mode so let's go and see what points we're gonna get before we try to push it up a little bit higher overclock it a bit and uh, yeah see what how much we can get out of the system running with the cool master uh, master liquid lm240 lrgb fancy fancy so the cooler should be fine for doing a decent overclocking uh, we're not gonna get the most out of it because we're not gonna be able to get that much cooling into it but hopefully we can do a decent overclocking and get a little bit more power we're running 42 degrees now so it's climbing slowly but surely me for one I love the AMD processors I've always loved them even when they weren't cool um, I have it in my last PC I have the AMD and in the PC before that I had the AMD uh, I have 380 something black edition ah can't remember right now but I'll see if I can get an annotation so the fun thing about overclocking is really that you can push your CPU to deliver much more then you get stuck, which you should. You should. You really should try to get the most out of it as you, as possible. As long as your cooling uh, can handle it, go for it. And as long as the PC, PC is stable, just hammer it. Because uh, you paid for the CPU. CPUs aren't cheap today, so why not get the extra power? Or it's not even extra, really. It's just your power that you paid for not overclocked or anything we landed on 3.216 on G cpu score so now we have overclocked it to uh, 4.1 we're running really high now so we're gonna actually quit because we peaked up at 90 degrees that's not what we wanted to do so we dialed it down a bit to uh, 39 and we lowered the temp quite significantly, words you know, hard. We're down to the 40s where we really want to stay. Uh, we don't want to be peaking that high that we did. So uh, let's see. So what we're doing today with this video is basically we're Talking about the AMD Ryzen 7 1800X, uh, which is a nice CPU, really, uh, which we can really recommend. Depending on what you do and what you need your PC to do, the AMD is really nice. Uh, if you're gonna do streaming, Ryzen 7 is more than enough. It's gonna do a hell of a good job for you. And what we're also trying out now is trying to overclock it with the all-in-one uh, 
liquid cooler, the uh, Master Liquid LM240 RGB, 240L RGB. And we don't want to press it too hard, we just want it to be a bit overclocked to do a little bit better. So we passed the test. Loading results 35, 31. So we got a little bit better. So, what do we think about Ryzen? The Ryzen 7 1800X. It's a really good CPU. I'm gonna get a link down below where you can check out the price and buy it if you like on Amazon. Or uh, I'm gonna put out a, a link for the Scandinavian people as well. Seeing that I live in Sweden, we're gonna think we're gonna head up complete. On that note, summary. If you want to really overclock the Ryzen 7, you need some real cooling because AMD are known to run warm. They run, they have always run hot and they will probably keep doing it. But is it worth it? In my opinion, yes. Uh, there's probably enough opinions to go around, but Look around, see what you think. It's a really nice processor in my mind and I could with no problem recommend it to anyone that want to game and stream or just want to have a good CPU and have the extra money. If you're just gaming, this might still be the one for you. So on that note, until next time, I hope you have a great one. Don't forget to click the subscribe and little bell icon to see when I post a new video. And again, check the link down below if you want to want your own Ryzen 7 CPU. Bye guys.